How much the internal energy markets, both for gas and electricity, can absorb the new novelties such as renewables or the new regulation? Do we need new target models or maybe we can set with the one that we have already? I think we have to differentiate. I think that the market so far has been quite successfully able to cope with the growing renewable uh, generation and there is probably still capacity for some more renewable generation to be absorbed if and when we build the necessary long distance interconnections uh, then we probably can go up to 15-20 percent of renewables without really massively disturbing the market. Uh, I think we will need to adjust the market models to a certain extent uh, and this is being discussed right now, which changes are necessary to make the markets better able to absorb these changes and new measures. Uh, where you are right is that the member states are sometimes uh, overloaded with the wealth of new regulation and systems and uh, legal requirements and uh, we might have to give them a little bit more time to implement all that on a national level. Uh, but this is more an institutional weakness in member states that the large number of new rules take some time to be passed into national law but then also to really put into practice. What about the lack of social acceptance? Very often we can see that uh, there is a big resistance from people uh, regarding the new transmission lines. And do you think that there will be some novelties with, uh, with time? Will this change with new regulation? Do we still have to face those difficulties in the future? I think we have to do two things. One is we have to explain to people that infrastructure is really necessary for the transformation of the energy system that apparently a majority of European citizens does want. Uh, and this is a process which you cannot uh, shorten. You need to have time, you need to take some uh, sort of effort to convince people on the ground that this is something that is necessary, that it's a prerequisite, that of course infrastructure close by the home of people is not always nice to have, but it is nonetheless essential. On the other hand, and here European measures can help, is that we need to streamline the proceedings because we see in Europe that some countries are able, albeit with some difficulty, to build new infrastructure in a reasonable period of time. And then we have other countries and regions where it seems to be almost impossible. And this has more to do with uh, procedural difficulties. And I think the infrastructure package proposals of one-stop shop, some time setting of the duration of proceedings might help to a certain degree. It will not remove resistance, but it might make it easier to manage the resistance in a rational, practical way because the rights of uh, sort of consumers and, and residents uh, is not taken care of in a better way if the process takes eight years or ten years. Uh, you should be able to voice your concerns, but there also has to be a process whereby after a while, two, three years, there is a decision and this decision is upheld. Uh, it doesn't get better if you're able to block it for six or seven years and then the decision is made. So I think streamlining is one part of it and a very good and comprehensive information and involvement of uh, everybody who is living close by to the infrastructure is another one and really explaining to the wider public the need is the third component and if we implement all that I think we should be able to build uh, most of the necessary infrastructure. What do you think about the challenges for 2030? How uh, the energy market will change in 2030? What new problems we'll have to face in 2030? I think the main challenge uh, is probably the integration or the level of integration we really need to absorb that much renewables. Uh, we are still very much on a national uh, market model and we're talking about connecting national markets, maybe better than in the past. But what we really need to do is integrate them in one. Uh, and this requires a harmonization uh, basically of all the necessary rules. And this is a difficult process because we have over the last 45 years had different national rules. And basically almost all of those rules need to be rewritten. Uh, so this will be I think the big challenge. 
maybe the uh, unbundling, which is now starting to have the effect of cross-border mergers and acquisitions, will make it a little bit easier because if one company owns distribution and transmission systems in several countries, they will also find it much easier to harmonize than if these are different uh, companies. So this unbundling will indirectly, I think, also make it easier to push for the necessary changes and integration steps.